shaking guys 48 hours 48 hours is all the time i have left until i will be in the air on my way to disney world we are super excited and we just can't believe it's already here i mean when we first booked it we were like 230 days out and to slowly go from 180 days when you can make your dining reservations to 60 days because we're staying on property. 60 days you can make your fast pass reservations to now. To being 48 hours away from being on the way to, to Disney World. So roughly 53, 54, let's go 54 hours. I will be in my hotel room in Disney World. So I've been waiting and waiting to do these videos and I was going to do do this video last week. But we had the breaking news of Disneyland postponing, putting on hold, which to me means canceling, the planned hotel and down the new hotel in downtown Disney. So that interrupted the, the, the plans, the plans. So this week I'm going to give you a rundown of everything th that we're going to do, that we are planning on doing. So that way you guys can follow along hopefully on Instagram. You guys can kind of follow along where we're at. And for future videos, you guys kind of know which day we're doing what and how everything's flowing. And I just have so much fun planning this. I want to share it with you guys that everything is laid out except for like two days where it's really just a couple things. But we'll get to there. So, yeah, without further ado, let's just jump into it. So the best way to start this out would be... We are leaving Sunday morning, roughly 7.30ish. We will be leaving the Bay Area and headed to Florida. We're supposed to arrive around 4 p.m. local time, so we didn't get a park ticket for Sunday. But we're going to use that time to visit Disney Springs, and I can't tell you how excited I am to see Disney Springs. Because I kind of think that our downtown Disney here in Anaheim is kind of trending the downtown Springs direction. So... I'm super excited to check it all out. They have so much food. And guys, I have been dieting the last like two months. I've lost over 30 pounds. I want some good food. <laughs> I, I'm excited for th all this food. So basically, we're just going to do Disney Springs. We're having dinner at Rainforest Cafe. Up here in the Bay Area, our Rainforest Cafe closed at Pier 39 at Fisherman's Wharf. In San Francisco. So that's closed. Anaheim's is obviously closed. But hopefully it'll reopen. <laughs> hopefully with the cancellation of the hotel. So we're going to have Rainforest Cafe for dinner. Then we're just going to hang out. Kick it. And kind of prep ourselves. Get used to the humidity. Get used to the heat. And then just go full bore starting Monday. So speaking of Monday. Monday we're spending the entire day at Magic Kingdom. That's all we're doing is Magic Kingdom on Monday. So... First thing is first thing first is something that we can't do at Disneyland, and that's we got a fast pass for Peter Pan. So I believe like first thing in the morning, it's like nine, ten, nine o'clock. We have Peter Pan fast pass. So then we have Space Mountain because it's a single thing, and it's the original Space Mountain. So yeah, we had we had to get a fast pass. So we have Space Mountain, and then after that is Seven Dwarfs Mine Train because I was not going to Disney World and not riding seven dwarves mine train that just wasn't going to happen so those are our three rides I, I said this in an earlier video once you use up your three pre-selected fast passes then you get the roaming normal fast pass that we have at disneyland so those are our three and then for dinner we are having the liberty tree tavern it's kind of a like a home style thanksgiving kind of all you can eat meal uh it looks really good there's a lot of I've heard a lot of great things about it, and I'm really happy that I just kind of stumbled upon it. I booked it and then did a little more research, and I'm glad I chose Liberty Tree Tavern. So, yeah, that that's pretty much our Monday, and then we'll just kind of roam around Magic Kingdom. So, Tuesday is probably the day that Ashley's looking forward to the most because we're doing Animal Kingdom, and that's going to be our bulk day is at Animal Kingdom. And I wanted to... The first thing when I was making fast passes, I, I want to ride uh, Flight of Passage. I really want to ride Avatar Flight of Passage. Unfortunately, they didn't have fast passes on that day. So, 
we had to mix around and readjust, but anyways, we got Navi River Journey instead. First thing first in the morning, I believe it's about 10 o'clock, so hopefully we can get some breakfast. There's some great breakfast place breakfast places in Animal Kingdom. So that's definitely something that we are super, super looking forward to is doing breakfast. And well, at least I am because I'm a breakfast guy. So we are doing Navi River Journey first, followed by the safari, the Kilimanjaro safari, which I'm super stoked for. And Ashley's praying a giraffe stops our truck. Because her favorite animal is a draft. So, after that, we are doing the ride that I'm most anxious to ride. And I literally can't say this enough. I haven't ridden it. And I'm already calling that it'll be my favorite ride in Walt Disney World. And that is Everest. I've been dying to ride it ever since I found out what it was. So, once I found out that the last trip that I took, which is roughly six, seven years ago now... We weren't doing Animal Kingdom, and I was completely bummed that I couldn't ride Everest. So the fact that I finally get to ride it, um, yeah, that's like, poof. uh. Anyways, we're gonna hang out there. Like I said, get three fast passes, then we're gonna roam. Hopefully, I can hit dinosaur. Uh, maybe we'll get lucky and flight of passage will open up. So Navi River Journey, Safari, and Everest are our three fast passes in Animal Kingdom. Then we're going to trek over to Epcot. We're gonna trek over to Epcot and have dinner at Chef de France. Now I did a whole bunch of research and a lot of people will have other ideas, but French cuisine is something that I've always wanted to try. It's something that I've never really had. So I was hoping that we can get this, eat here, eat at Chef de France, and I could really experience kind of like a French cuisine. Um, and the other reason why we're going back to Epcot, well, it'll be our first time, my first time to Epcot, uh, is they have extra magic hours after the park closes. So since we're staying on property, we have the luxury of going to all the extra magic hours. So we'll have dinner and then we'll stay and hang out and it's open from 9 to 11 is only people that have them magic hours. So that's where we're ending at Epcot. So that's like the day that I'm most excited for because I haven't seen either of those parks. When I went on my last trip, uh, we only did Magic Kingdom and... Hollywood Studios. We did the water park and that was it because we did Universal and did a couple other things. So I haven't seen Animal Kingdom and Epcot and Tuesday is both parks that I haven't seen in one day. So I know Ashley's super excited for Animal Kingdom. The park I'm looking forward to the most is Epcot. So to hit both of those and make both of us extremely happy and just, ah, I'm so excited. Now Wednesday. Wednesday is only because I don't know exactly how I fully feel about this park. Wednesday will be kind of, I think, a, not a stressful day, but it could get a little tight in the afternoon. So we are going to Hollywood Studios in the morning. They have extra magic hours uh, in the morning. So we are going to go from 8 to 9 to the extra magic hours. And then we are riding Alien Swirling Saucers, one of the new ride, one of the new Toy Story Land rides. I couldn't get Slinky Dog. I couldn't get Slinky Dog Dash on Wednesday, unfortunately. But we are doing Alien, Alien Swirling Saucers. Followed by Aerosmith Roller Coaster, which I absolutely love. Which is kind of putting my expectations for Everest like way up here. If I'm saying it's going to be my favorite when Rock and Roller Coaster currently is my favorite. So, Rock and Roller Coaster. And then, of course, it wouldn't be a trip to Hollywood, to, to, to Hollywood Studios and not ride Hollywood Tower of Terror. So, we are following it with Hollywood Tower of Terror. Our Fast Pass is at like 2.30... We have dinner reservations at 455 in Magic Kingdom. So that's where it might get a little bit dicey. But I think everything will work out. We are having dinner at Magic Kingdom at the Crystal Palace. It's our character dinner. It's a buffet. So it's kind of a home, home style, uh, solely food kind of deal. Uh, that At least I believe from what I've read <laughs> and looked at their menu. So that is our plan for Wednesday. And there's no magic hours at night. And actually, there. No, I don't think. No, there isn't. So that is our Wednesday. We have Alien Swirling Saucers. We have Aerosmith Roller Coaster, Rock and Roller Coaster, Tower of Terror at Hollywood Studios, and then followed by our Crystal Palace character dinner at Magic Kingdom. Now, Thursday is probably the next day that I'm most excited for. Because we get to eat at a restaurant that, that, that's my favorite movie, and that would be Be Our Guest 
And I, my favorite Disney movie is Beauty and the Beast. So we, we're having breakfast. The prices are a little cheaper. We like the food actually a little more. And like I said, the prices are, are, are decent in the morning. So we're going to have breakfast at Magic Kingdom. Now, we were originally going to do a whole, basically Magic Kingdom in the morning and then just kind of drift around and hit whatever parts we wanted to hit. But it didn't happen because of Slinky Dog. Thursday was the only day I can get Slinky Dog. So we had to go over to Hollywood Studios. I couldn't find any Fast Passes really outside of Slinky Dog that kind of fit the afternoonish style. So the first one is Muppet 3D, Muppet Vision 3D. I know a lot of people are kind of like, why do you need a Fast Pass for it? Because I had nothing else to choose from. So I'm picking Muppet Vision 3D because I love it. And I actually haven't seen it since it was at DCA. So, and that was years ago. So we're going to see it. So then follow that, we're doing Rock and Roller Coaster. We're going to do a lot of back and forth. We're doing Rock and Roller Coaster again because, like I said, it's my, as of right now, my favorite ride. I'm hoping Everest can beat it. And then we're doing Slinky Dog Dash after that. Well, then followed by that, we weren't going to do any dinner plans for Thursday, Friday, Saturday. But all of a sudden, we were watching a Disney food vlog video, and they talked about the sci-fi drive-in theater. And, yeah... Ashley's like, book it. Find a day and book it. Okay. Guys, you get to watch an old sci-fi film in an old retro car while you have dinner. And it's pretty much all burgers and hot dogs and chili and just American food. I'm just like, oh, it just sounds really good. And it's just right up my alley for retro sci-fi movies. I love black and white movies. I love old movies. So this is just... We are both really excited and I'm so happy I was able to find a reservation available because I only booked it like a week ago. Yeah, maybe two weeks ago, two weeks ago at the most. So it's like two and a half weeks and it's hard to get some of these restaurants, <laughs> restaurants. It, 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 it's tough. So then we're going to hopefully watch Fantasmic. I'm kind of, Ashley's not big on shows, but she knows I am, especially Fantasmic. So, hopefully we can slide in and watch Fantasmic on Thursday. So now Friday is probably the most important, the biggest, just mind-blowing day for us. Yes, it'll be at the end of the week, so we'll be already really tired and having to push through and really struggle to get through the day. But we are going to go to Epcot. Now, this will be our first, like, big day at Epcot. Yeah, we're not going to spend a whole day at Epcot because I think we would both just get tired out of eating so much and checking out the pavilions because I could probably do that for a whole day. Just just the pavilions in itself. And I probably wouldn't have enough time even then. So we are going over to Epcot. We got fast passes for, bear with me, Spaceship Earth because there was really none available at the times that we were going to be in Epcot. So that was like, boom, I want to get it. I've seen the line long, especially in the morning when only Future Worlds open. Uh, World Showcase doesn't open until 11. So Future World gets quite crowded from what I've seen. So we got Spaceship Earth. I want to ride Orange Mission Space. So I got a Fast Pass. I don't know if Ashley will ride it with me. If not, I'll ride it. But I have a feeling she'll ride it with me. So... Mission Space, and then we had to get Frozen. I'm hoping after Frozen, I'm hoping we can get Test Track, or maybe if we're at Rope Drop, we can ride Test Track really early. Uh, but we got Frozen. Ashley really wanted to ride Frozen, and I'm actually quite looking forward to it because the animatronics in it look really, really, really nice. So that is our Epcot Fast Passes. <laughs> but that's not the biggest thing that's happening on Friday. Actually, I think it's happening on Thursday, but since we're there on Friday, it'll be like the biggest, bigger deal. Is the International Food and Wine Festival starts. So I'm just going to be so loaded with food and I'm going to go into a food coma. Especially because of what's coming next. And that is at night, we will go back to the hotel and we will change because we got to put our costumes on for Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, which we are attending. We attended our first Halloween party in Disneyland last year. We're super excited to attend Disney World. Our costume fits perfectly, I believe, with this trip. And what else is new? 
in the Disney World Resort. Plus, Ashley's never been. I've never been to two parks. So these kind of fit in. And you, I'm not going to tell you. You guys got to wait and see. So I'm going to have so much food at the Food and Wine Festival. Then all the candy from Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. I'm in for some heavy duty workouts when I get home. So that is our Friday. We are super excited for Friday. And Saturday, Saturday is going to be our nuts, crazy, just do whatever we haven't done yet day. We are doing Animal Kingdom in the morning because they have the extra magic hours from 8 to 9. We are opening the morning with Kilimanjaro Safaris, which we'll probably ride at Rope Drop anyways. So we'll probably ride it again. We'll get, we got a fast pass. We'll ride it again. So we have Kilimanjaro Safaris. Then we finally have Avatar Flight of Passage, which I am super excited for. Ashley's even kind of excited for it. And she's not big on simulator rides. So she's excited for that. And then I got a fast pass for Dinosaur. Just in case we couldn't ride it on Tuesday when we go, I got a fast pass for Dinosaur. It's exactly like our Indiana Jones at Disneyland in Anaheim. But it's with dinosaurs. And I love dinosaurs. So then after that, the plan was to go to Epcot, kind of like on Tuesday. We're going to go to Epcot, spend some time at Epcot, and then we're going to finish the day at Magic Kingdom. Hollywood Studios, we would have already spent two days in Hollywood Studios. There's not a lot to see in Hollywood Studios. You can kind of conquer the park relatively fast. So we're going to kind of skip it, and we'll be back when Star Wars is open. But So it'll be Animal Kingdom. We have the Safari. Flight of Passage and Dinosaur Fast Passes. Then we'll head over to Epcot. Hopefully I can get some Fast Passes for Epcot. Plus, more Food and Wine Festival. And then we're going to end the night at Magic Kingdom. And end the trip in Magic Kingdom. So, I'm not sure if I've even mentioned this. We're staying at the Disney All-Star Sports Resort. And we're taking advantage of everything we possibly can. Originally, so we're doing the Magical Express. Originally, we were going to let them pick up our baggage. And I don't want to dive into it too much. But if you guys leave comments and want to know, and I can do a whole separate video on Magical Express. Because it's pretty, it's pretty awesome. So we're using everything we can. And that's one thing that I'm, I just want to say and suggest is try to stay on property. I know it's a little more expensive, but just the values you get, the, the stuff you get. The free airport shuttle. They pick up your bags and deliver it to your room. You get free magic bands. Um, yeah, there's just so much. You get the you get the extra magic hours. So there's just so much that you guys can get from staying on property. And there's probably even more when we go. I'm gonna find out even more stuff. So my my suggestion is definitely stay on property, and that way you can you never have to leave the magic. Like when we if we want to say, oh hey, it's too hot, too humid. Hey, let's go swim. Oh, guess what? It's still on Disney property, so you're kind of engulfed. And when you're already spending a lot of money on Disney World, a little bit more to make its life so much easier and make the vacation so much less stressful. Cause that's the whole point of a vacation is not to have stress. So my recommendation is definitely stay on property. So that's about it, guys. I know I kind of. It went really long, but it seemed like I went through everything really fast. So if you guys have any comments, questions, if you guys have any suggestions for me to try, especially for Thursday, Friday, maybe lunch, and Saturday, if you guys have any suggestions of places to eat or things to see that I might not have done, rides that I'm overestimating uh, that you guys want me to ride, anything like that to make this trip memorable, yeah, that's Leave your comments and suggestions. So if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Give this video a big thumbs up. I'm already out of order because I'm too excited and I'm running on no sleep. So let's try this again. If you haven't done so already, give this video a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the little notification bell so you are notified when other videos like this and other park adventure videos are uploaded. Those will be the Disney World videos. There will be a lot of them. So, anyways, guys, enjoy your weekend. And the next time I will talk to you guys will be in Florida. Follow us on Instagram just to follow along on the trip. It's the easiest way to follow us when we're on a trip, especially something like this where I'm going to be filming nonstop. Ashley's going to have her phone out 
she's going to be doing all the Instagram. We're going to do a lot of live. I'm going to try to do a lot of live stuff this trip. And yeah, just super excited. And I'm going to shut up now because I'm just truly rambling. So anyways, guys, take care. Enjoy your weekends. Weekend, if you guys are at the park, I'm so tired. If you guys are at the park, tell Mickey I say hi. Tell him I'm going to see him in a couple days. So anyways, guys, I will catch you guys in Florida. And I will see you all a little later.